Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the British Eagle, and once again, we are back for more a Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition. Now, I gotta be honest, um, it's been a while since I've recorded, so I'm gonna try and remember what we need to do. So we're in, oh, that's right. So we're in Cobblestone, and um, yeah, this place is an absolute tip. Um, it's a complete mess. I think I already searched here for items, but we'll check a couple more things, and we're probably not gonna go too crazy, because I've been here twice now outside of this and I've searched for items and gotten them all before. Oh, wait a minute. Why is the little blue guy here? You see him up there? Do I can I talk to him? Ask him how his day's going? Oh, wait, can I actually jump up here? Oh, bad camera angle. Hold on. I know this is silly cuz there's probably nothing to do. it doesn't actually talk to me, but look, I can climb up here. This is cool. I don't know if I'm supposed to or if it's a Oh, that literally does nothing. Okay, cool. Anyway, Let's keep going. So I need to go and, um, oh, I didn't actually know you could do that. <laughs> okay, cool. I was walking on the edge of that, uh, cliff there. Anyway, so, uh, in the last episode, sorry guys, I'm all over the place. In the last episode, Cobblestone has, has been destroyed. Looks like we were talking to our, our, the, the old man, uh, I forget his name, Chalky, I think it was. And he basically told us, hey, to continue your adventure, you need to head to the, um, the triple... Uh, what is it? The triple, um, what do I want to call it? It's like the triple waterfall. I think we have to go this way. Eve, oh my god, look at that. Wow. Look at that right in, right in the center of the screen. Is that a giant tree in the sky? Oh, that's from the freaking, um, the trailer, or from the, uh, intro. That's cool. So, I think looking at the map, I don't think Cobblestone Tour is where you go. I think that's where we went in the beginning of the game. So I'm going to assume we actually go backwards, which is kind of silly because if we get caught by guards, we're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. So Heliodor region. Now, I don't remember how far back the triple water. Oh, is it literally right here? Is this it? Oh, that was easy. <laughs> okay, well... I thought we were going to have to take a really long trip, but I guess not. I think this is it. Or is it somewhere else? Let me see. Uh, where are we? Emerald Coast. Is it the Emerald Coast? Is that what he was referring to? Mm, I don't think it was. I don't know. We're going to go over to this waterfall, see what's happening over here. Uh, nope, that's definitely not the waterfall. I can't remember where it was. Was it back here? We obviously want to be careful. We don't want to go to Heliodor because that's obviously not good for us because we'll get caught and then we'll be attacked. So I got to basically figure out how to find this like waterfall. I think it might have been back here. I honestly don't remember. Um, uh, let's see. Is it through here? Yeah, I'm going to be honest, guys. I really don't remember, but hopefully we can figure it out and progress the story and, and see what we need to do. Is it considered the Emerald Coast? Is that? Oh, I think this is it. I think this is what he was referring to. Right? We have to find the waterfall or something? So we got this item, Jug of Fresh Water. Now, do we, like... Oh, man, what was it that he told us to do? Hold on, let me talk to Eric. So according to your granddad, we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls and find a three-sided... Oh, I'm such an idiot. I thought it was this one with the three separate waterfalls. Oh, okay. Cobblestone Falls and find a three-sided rock. Oh, wait, we're here. It says Cobblestone Falls. If that route showed your, you stuff from the past, I guess it must have been pretty important. You should go check out whatever it is your granddad wanted you to find. Well, we're here. Okay, so Cobblestone Falls. Okay. But now what? There's a lot of lightning bugs. So we're at... So a three-sided rock. He said a three-sided. Um... So how... Okay, so I'm at... Oh! Pfft, literally right here. Alright, found it! Letters, huh? The top one there's seen better days, that's for sure. My dearest, darling baby boy. When finally you come to read this, I will almost certainly be long dead. 
You see, not long after you were born, our beloved kingdom of Dundrazil was attacked by an army of monsters. I was forced to flee with you in my arms and expended the last of my strength in ensuring that you escaped to safety. If you are fortunate enough to have been found by some kindly soul, you must seek out the King of Heliodor when you come of age. Our kingdom and his have long enjoyed close relations, and your father and I would trust him with our lives. Never forget, my son. You are a prince of the kingdom of Dundrazil. But more than that, you are the luminary. Yours is a weighty burden indeed. It is you who must stand against the darkness and banish it from our world. In time, you will come to understand. It breaks my heart to leave you, my darling. But it is the only way. I only hope that one day, you will learn to forgive me. It's from someone important to you, right? Your mother or something? Don't worry, you can tell me about it later. What about the other one? To my dearest grandson. I haven't the foggiest how you managed it, but I met your future self today. As promised, I've buried some things here that will help you on your way. Have you read your mother's letter yet? It was in your basket with you when I first found you. It was because of that letter that I asked my Amber to send you to see the King when the time came. I only wish I'd known how things would turn out. I don't know why Dundrasil was attacked, or why King Carnelian thinks so badly of you. I'm just an ignorant old man from a little village in the country. But I do know that the answers are out there somewhere. The keystone in this box will open the door of departure off to the east. You must go out into the world and seek the truth. Remember now, don't waste your time bearing grudges and live life with love in your heart. All the best, now and forever. Grandad. Wow. Trunks acquires the keystone. What a cutscene and a half. So we use the keystone to open the door of departure and head out into the world, huh? Well, sounds easy enough. You better believe I'm coming with you. You said it was just east of here, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Wow, um, okay, so two things. One, uh, those letters are amazing, and they explained a lot. I can't believe that the grandfather, or Chalky, um, was able to put a box underground after actually meeting us as our future self. That's crazy. What, those, just, those, wow, that cutscene was incredible. I, even though the main character didn't say anything, obviously he read it out loud, Eric understood. And now we're heading off. Um, so I really want to check out this item, though. Hold on, item bag... Uh, oh, Enchanted Stone, is that the one that we just got? No. Here it is, important items. Okay, Keystone. A mysterious stone, a mysterious stone said to hold the secret to opening the Door of Departure. Wow. Uh, just when I think I can't love this game anymore, they've got a cool blue stone that opens a Door to Departure. Like, there's just, I don't know, there's so many cool things with this. So where do we need to go now? The door to departure, or door of departure, is to the east. Perfect. So we'll go this way. We'll run past a lot of these enemies. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna try and get some experience. Let's let's attack some of these. We haven't fought any battles in a little bit, so um, there's been a lot of cutscenes and us walking around. So I say we fight, um, attack, and one shot. All right. Well, they're not exactly the strongest enemies, but. <laughs> 
19 experience, 17 gold, that's fine. If they're all one shots, or most of them are, then, I mean, I'm down to attack them and get some easy experience, so might as well. Attack, 21 damage, very nice. Attack, 21 damage, awesome. One point of damage, wow, look at that. Yeah, there's definitely no need to grind at this point, is there? <laughs> easy. 46 and 36, very cool. You know what, we'll do the same thing, might as well. Um, we're 10 minutes into this, and like 7 minutes of it has let's been cutscenes slash walking around. So yeah, let's do some fighting. I'm down to clown. We still have the shield and sword combo. I know Drake, or aka X1, had asked me about that in one of the uh, in the comment section. Thank you, Drake, so much for your support and for the comment regarding what I plan to do as the as I play through the game. Um, to answer that question, I think I already did in the comment section, but I'll answer it in the episode as well. Um, so my plan is to really just kind of switch things up. Eric isn't always going to be using a dagger or knife, whatever it's considered. Um, I will have him use the boomerang at some point. I will upgrade shields for um, trunks. I will give us better swords, different weapons. This game is very lengthy from what I understand. So right now I'm kind of just taking my time to explore and see what I feel is something I want to use currently, um, whether it's a sh sword, shield, boomerang, whatever it might be. Oh, we got a the Crimson Coral for safekeeping. Very nice. And there's an item over here. Might as well snag that as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of just working with what I've got and, and trying to see what I like the most right now. We got Cotton Top. Cotton Top again. And we got a Hibiscus. Very cool. There's a lot of crabs on this beach, which I am fine with. Let's battle some of them. Not all of them, but just a couple of them. Um, but yeah, that's Let's basically go. my answer to your question, Drake. Hopefully that answers it. But yeah, my plan is to just keep, you know, using some of the weapons I find. Um, it sounds like I need to avoid buying too many weapons as I'll be able to get cool ones later on anyway. Um, from some of the other comments I've gotten outside of what Drake has said. But yeah, I, I plan on exploring and just, you know, utilizing what I have and enjoying it. So... Um, that's kind of the plan for this game. But right now, we're going to do a couple more battles. These battles seem relatively easy, and we seem to be taking them out pretty quickly in, in two shots. Um, they're not doing much damage anyway, so it's... Yeah, I mean, Trunks has lost, like, six health. Health points? <laughs> not much. Um, I will go grab the item over here, and then we'll make our way to the departure. I think it's on the, uh, it's actually on the shore here anyway, so... Kind of works out very nicely for us. Um, let me see. Yeah, we'll, we'll battle you. Do a little bit of damage while we're at it, too. There's three of them. Okay. Uh, fight. One damage. Three damage. Uh, nah, we'll just attack. 24. Wow. Attack. 18. Done. 23. Very nice. Very nice. The Calamari kids are defeated. 51 dust. experience. 33 gold. All right, we'll do one or two more, and then we will go onto the dock and go to the door of departure. Um, I do want to progress, but I also don't mind getting a little bit of experience here. Um, also, keep in mind, we may find some new enemies as we go through the door of departure. We may find some new enemies with uh, more um, health and uh, better experience points to give us, so... 51 experience, 33 gold. We got a treasure chest. We got the pink pearl. Ooh, very nice. All right, we'll defeat you, sir. There you go. Very nice. But, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. Um, as I always say, please feel free to let... Ah, uh, we got Eric becoming Super Saiyan Blue here. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do Scorched Earth. Why not? It's fun to do these pet powers. It hits both of them, I believe, right? It does, right? 36 and 28. Yep, pretty... Pretty awesome. Yeah. The Krabids <laughs> are uh, defeated. 42 experience. Got an item. Oh, we got a tiny tortoise shell for safekeeping. Very nice. All right. Well, let's go ahead and head on to the dock here. It's the land, the door of departure. And it's this guy who allows us to use it. Okay. What's that now? Are you be looking for the door of departure? You see. Well, I couldn't be certain, but there's an old building or east of here with a big city doors on it. If you've got it. If you've a mind to go traipsing out to furthing ruins, you could do worse than go out and take a look, you never know. What? I'm confused. Wait, are you not... Do we swim? Where do... What? Huh? Where's the door of departure? Am I... Am I missing something? I thought you were the guy. Okay. Well, uh... Hmm. Do we... Okay, we can't go in the water. That's not how that works. Okay. 
Um. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, I'm a dingus. It's not him. It's this way. Oh, that helps. Yep. I was like, wait a minute. I was pretty certain I got this right. Nope, I did not get it right. It is this way. By the way, um, what I was going to say when I was messing that up and talking to the wrong person to get us through the door of departure, I'm having a lot of fun with the series. I hope you guys are as well. Feel free to leave comments, advice, tips, tricks, whatever you want to leave in the comment section. Obviously, be kind, be respectful, all that fun stuff. Oh, it's this thing. We came out here in the last episode, I think. I remember this. Also, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Did you really think you would escape me, Dark Spawn? Damn it. They found us. Oh my god, they actually jumped off the cliff. I did not expect that. Well, don't just stand there. Come on. Oh, right in the buttocks. Now, seize him. Here, take my hand. Quickly, the keystone. You shall not escape me, Darkspawn! Run! Now! Of one, the game has not even begun. Wow, this is the story just gets better and better the more I play this. I absolutely love this. Oh. Whew. We made it. That was too close. So, uh, where exactly are we? I don't recognize this place at all. Wow, yeah, the cutscene was so cool. Oh, you shall not escape. Terra Incognita, trophy earned, very nice. You shall not escape me, awarded for uh, evading capture by the dauntless Sir Hendrick who hunts you still, believing you to be a harbinger of calamity. Wow. And notice that we have our old stuff back on because we're not hiding with our like cape on our head. Very cool. All right. I like this. Any items on the side of this? Let's see. Yeah. So we got our Dragon Quest Eight uh, armor back on. This is pretty dope. All right. Let's talk to this guy here. Nothing has disturbed this place in eons. Aeons, uh, and yet here you are. I can only imagine what curious path has led you here, but mine is not to reason why. Perhaps I can be of assistance. What brings you to our church in the dead of night, child? Um, yeah, we might as well save it, get a fresh new save file, and um, yeah, let's do it. Why not? Uh, I would like to save right here so we don't have to redo all that again, yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, these episodes are so much fun. I could, I could literally sit down and record this game until it's done. 
Like, if I legitimately didn't care about, like, being so far ahead, I honestly would record them, but I I'm not gonna do that. I wanna give you guys an opportunity to be like, oh, hey, do this. Make sure you do that. Mm. Advice. Oh, I haven't seen you around here before. Well, whatever you're doing, you're gonna need supplies, and that's where I come in. Welcome to my roving emporium. How can I help you? We've got 1,255 money. We are stacked. We have, as the kids say, bread. <laughs> We've got that paper. <laughs> um, let's see. We got. Uh, we already have three of these, three of these, seven of those. Wow, we really don't need much. I mean, I'm gonna uh, grab some medicinal herbs. We'll get nine to get us to 30, because we got that money. We got that cash money. Um, <laughs> we're gonna put that in our bag. We're at 30 now. We really don't need... I mean, we're stacked on these items. The Templar uniform, I think we already bought that and gave it to Eric. Um, we don't own that, but it would downgrade our attack. Yeah, there's really not much to buy right now, so I'm actually pretty good. I'm, I'm fine right now. Um, now... One thing I do want to look at is, um, so I've given him the Divine Dagger. I think that's why I didn't want to give him the Boomerang. Yeah, it's, oh my gosh, that's, that's literally eight points lower in attack. Like, there's no way I can give him that Boomerang. What I would like to do, and maybe I'll do it in the next episode, is sit down and forge, um, and try to forge a new Boomerang if that's available. Um, of course, I do need the items to do it first, but if we can, I would love to get a Boomerang and start using that a little bit more. So, yeah, something to think about. Uh, let's go with this on the Droll Drone. 14 and 18, very nice. We didn't kill him at 11 damage? Wow. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Uh, tried to poison us, but didn't do anything? Or did they? I don't, I don't know, weird, okay. 44 and 32, are we poisoned now? I don't see any like, signals next to our names or anything that were poisoned. So I think we're good. Okay. A red slime or an orange slime? Wow, this is cool. I don't think I've ever seen a slime like this. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna attack. She slime A. I killed it in one hit. Okay, so these should still be pretty simple. I'm not gonna lie, the, the outfit for, um, for Trunks, it looks really cool. Like, I love the, uh, the Dragon Quest VIII, uh, look. I still like the purple, obviously, but this is sick, yeah. Um, attack. Three damage, that's fine. Attack, there we go. The sl she slimes are defeated, well, very nice. 60 experience and 45. One thing I want to check out really quick, do we have other things that we can equip that would be better? Nope, the Trodane Togs are the best. Now, defense-wise, we do go down to 35. That's probably why it's doing so much damage. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, if I have the scale armor equipped, why do I have my old Final Fantasy VIII stuff on? Huh. Wait a minute, yeah, hold on, I wanna... Oh man, interesting, so I can switch back and forth, because I'm not gonna lie, I do like the purple a lot, I like this a lot, but I think for right now, we're gonna stick with the Dragon Quest VIII arm, uh, outfit. Yeah, Dragon Quest VIII does look cool, but I really like the purple and green as well. So we'll switch back and forth. At least I know how to change this if I want to. Eric doesn't have any equipment because he's, you know, a scrub. Um, but yeah, okay, cool. Let's keep on keeping on. Um, all right, so I'm looking for items. Not seeing anything right now. Let's battle these enemies right here. See what we got. We got a she slime, and what is this thing called again? A draw drone. That's right. Draw dr 22 killed it? Oh. I thought I did more than 20 before, and I couldn't kill it. I don't know. Weird. Oh, well, we're getting some good experience here. 42 experience and 31 gold. Very nice. Let's climb up here, see if there's any hidden item. There is not. Unfortunately, there's not. Okay. Uh, there's nothing in the cracks here. I'm going to battle another she slime and uh, take him down. <laughs> Downtown. All right. Battle. Attack. Oh, we're both pepped up now. I love these pep powers. What do we have again? Ooh, itemized kill? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do the itemized kill. Not only does it look so badass, but you get to steal an item, which is really dope. So I'm I'm good with that. Hey, there we go. What do we get? Let's see. She slime. Um. Oh, we just got... Uh, did it say what we got? Oh, we got treasure chest. Medicinal herb. Okay, not bad. We'll take it. 
Okay, wait, let me look at my map. Am I go Okay, there's only, there's literally one way to go. For a second, I was like, wait a minute. Am I going the right way, or should I go and look down another path so I can explore more? But no, this is the right way to go. I'm a little surprised there's not really, like, I see a blue item in the distance there, but there's not a whole lot of items on the road or, or really alternate routes to explore. Kind of surprised. They do that a lot in this game, so I thought it just would be here, but okay. She Slime is defeated. Very nice. Cast Snooze. Interesting. Now, I'm assuming it's similar to, like, Pokemon and other games, too, that, like, Sleep and, and Paralysis and Burn and Poison and all that have different accuracies. So you're not always going to be able to just land Snooze, uh, or, yeah, Snooze. Um, depending on what the attack is, it may or may not hit. Um, it has better accuracies or lower accuracies, so that, that makes sense. I like that. I think that's pretty standard. Finds a Wormaline. What is a Wormaline? Um, a glowing stone that emits a welcoming, I mean, okay, welcoming warmth. Yeah, I, I got that from Wormaline, but okay, cool. What is this ghostly looking thing? I want to attack you. Seven damage. Oh my gosh. Group of enemies appear. All right, so I want to take out the, let's take out the She Slime first. Uh, she Slime, you destroyed. There you go. 10 damage from, what's his name? The Bongo? So, the Bongo Drunk. <laughs> That's what it's called. Uh oh. Did he just boost their attack or something? All right, Drone, you're dead. He's going to start doing a ton of damage, isn't he? Yeah, I'm going to go for Rubble Rouser. Uh, and then I'm going to attack Bongo Drongo for 16. Another 6. He does 16 damage. Oh my gosh. Drongo, chill out, my guy. Holy crap. 75 experience and 49 gold, and we still didn't level up. That's crazy. All right, we're going to go ahead and use this on Trunks, and we'll use one more, on, or I'm sorry, on Eric, and now on Trunks. Okay, cool. Okay, well, I'm good to go ahead and continue and, and just continue to battling enemies. I don't mind getting some of the experience. They seem to be giving more um, than what we got in the last area near Cobblestone, so I'm totally fine with getting the experience by beating these slimes and bongo drongos <laughs> 40 experience 30 gold no level up that's fine so man there's a lot of enemies so hota hato mount huji and galapolis region okay interesting i want to see if there's any ah bongo drongo over here now what's this so it's a hot it's a wait does this hurt us no it doesn't what How's what is going? this uh, I think it's safe to say we're not being followed anymore, for now at least. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't say that I've ever been here before. How about we go chat to some of the locals? Chat to some of the locals? Do you... Do these people look... Do these things look like they want to chat, Eric? C can we just talk about that for a second? I don't think any of these enemies want to chat. And I call them enemies because they are going to attack us. I'm going to fight this Bongo Drongo, because you know what? Oh. Wait, why can I not... Wait, what? What? I couldn't hit him. I tried to hit X and, and hit him. It didn't work. That's weird. 58. I got a critical. Let's go. Huh, Holy crap. Easy. 33 and 18. Very nice. All right. Slimes, get out of here. We're running. Um. All right. Well, interesting. Another Bongo Drongo over there. Very nice. Um. Let's see. Let's read the sign over here. I don't see a local I can talk to, but okay. Weary traveler, does the road not tire you? Do your bones not ache? Mm, well, do not as well. Let the sauna cure your ill, sweaty oasis. All right, cool. We're going to a sweaty oasis. Hi, little buddy. How you doing, bud? You not going to talk to me? Okay, great. Awesome. All right, cool. Dude, this is... Oh, my gosh. Honestly, I'm so happy I like this game. I didn't know what to expect coming into this, but I've actually really enjoyed this. Um, especially anytime you play something blind, uh, for the first time, you know, it's always kind of like, am I going to like it? Am I going to enjoy it? And so far, so good, man. So far, so good. It's still beautiful. Every area is gorgeous. Civilization at last. And I think it's safe to say we're not being followed anymore. For now, at least. Two travelers come. Their timing is auspicious as the day's new dawn. My bathhouse awaits. Savor its steamy embrace 
as frogs do spring rain. Rejoice, honored guests, for to mark this happy day, you may sweat for free. Um, we're kind of busy to be sweating. Thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. Too busy to bathe? Too busy to wash away the scent of the road? Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not at my freshest. Fine. I'll visit your bathhouse if it means that much to you. Might as well go sweat off the journey while we have the chance. I'll see you in there, okay? The winds bring a guest. Joyfully, I shall guide him to where bliss awaits. <laughs> okay, um, so one thing I wanted to ask all of you Dragon Quest fans, why do they seem to just use the same skin for all the, all the characters in the cities? Like, this basically looks like the cobblestone characters, well, maybe not this guy, he seems different, but like, they seem to just use, like, these two right here, this guy, this guy, with the, like, how many of these guys are walking around these cities? Like, I'm not saying I, like, dislike it. It's fine. I don't have a problem with it. I'm just surprised that there's so... They, they didn't expand on how many, like, character skins they used, I guess. I don't know. I just think it's interesting, but it's okay. It doesn't, like, ruin the game for me or anything. I'm just curious what you guys think of that. What luck, Trunks finds a recipe book entitled An Introduction to Armor. Very nice. He takes a look inside. Trunks learns how to make suits of bronze armor. Very nice. Awesome. Yeah, it seems like in this game, you're always going to find a treasure chest or behind one of the buildings in a city. And we got 20 gold coins. Very nice. I will take gold coins all day, every day, all the way. Uh, hey, kitty. Hi, kitty. Uh, let's see. What's back here? Anything? No, nothing there. Okay. Can we go? Ooh, can we go underneath? No, we can't. Okay. Well, let's look around the town, see what we got here. Uh, let's see, anything back here? Aha, something behind here. Another warmaline. I really don't understand what that's, maybe that's for um, synthesis, or not synthesis, but like forging, maybe. Uh, let's see, what we got back here? We got a well, is there an item back here? There is something, I gotta go around the other side to get it, but I'm gonna get it, I promise you that, because I would like a free item. Okay, so back here, what is this item gonna be? Let us see. A mini metal, very cool, very cool. Gratefully Pockets is fine. So if I go to attributes, uh, mm, huh. Okay, so you click X for spells, X for abilities, spells. Oh, it like tells you what they, oh, interesting. This is cool. Oh man, there's so, I think I've already seen this before. Yeah, I think I already looked at this, but this is dope. So this is where basically you look at their status. Um, so Eric is killing it with max HP. Uh, they're similar with MP. Attack is very similar. Defense, uh, Trunks is leading. Um, magical, Might and Mending, Trunks leads by quite a bit. Strength is similar, resilience similar, agility is obviously Eric, uh, deafness is Eric, and charm is Eric. Okay, very interesting. Nice to just look at those things every now and then. Okay, so we got the items behind the houses. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What is this place? Is it like a weaponry shop or something? Uh, doesn't, sh doesn't say. Okay. Uh, let me see if I missed any other items. Let's take a look here. Anything back here? Nope, nothing there. All right, well, let's talk to this guy, see what he has to say. Um, Beneath Mount Fuji, like snowstorms on summer days, visitors are rare. Your blue-haired comrade steams in the stairs top sauna, a peak in the mist. Okay, very cool. Thank you for that. I came here in search of a new supply of weapons, and I have been richly rewarded. The quality of the steel here is truly second to none. Am I thinking? Am I right in thinking that you have visitors here? Oh, I strongly recommend that you purchase some arms here before you leave. You will not regret it. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. 
Well, let's take a look inside these buildings. Let's see what is available to us. Um, see if there's any pots that we can break, because we love pot. And, um, well, we like free items, too. <laughs> We're not picky. Um, let's see. Can we open this up? What do we find? A spoon of flax and thread. That's what I've been asking for, for from Santa for years, so I'm glad I got that. Um, okay, cool. Well, not much in there. Let's go this way. Check out this house. All right. I love the um, bamboo door. I think it's so cool. All right. So anything in here? Another wardrobe. A hundred gold coins. Very nice. And there's a bookshelf, which is important, as I know from the comments. There's a book called The Diary of Tetsu and of Tetsu the Smith. Trunks takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Part 1. A dream is born. My name is Tetsu. I am 48 years old. I am a blacksmith. This morning I sat. An amazing coin I spied. Wondrous workmanship. I made inquiries, spent all day, and learned its name. The mini metal. I must leave Hodo and find the coin's creator. Learn how it was made. Do not fear, mother. I shall return a hero, a smith without peer. All right, very cool. Okay, so that's good information. Um, so hopefully we'll learn more about mini metals as we continue throughout this game. Uh, let's go this way. I would like to go into the houses over here. Actually, let me talk to you. Are you just... Um... Okay, so you just want to... Yeah, so we can save with you. Okay, perfect. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. What is in here? Ooh, is this a uh, place to rest? Very nice. Can we read the shelves here? Nope. Actually, you know what, guys? Take a break. I think I'm going to run the shop today. You two, go home. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Step right in. No, I'm just kidding. I, I won't run the shop. <laughs> I'll let you both have fun. Uh, let's see what's in these doors. Door number one, we've got uh, not really a whole lot. Actually, nothing. Let's go behind door number two. Not much of a hotel if there's only two rooms, but all right. So we got a set of plain clothes and nothing. Okay. Can't be greedy. That's fine. We can't get everything from every wardrobe we open. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they offer. They're just going to offer us to stay the night or save. So I'm not worried about talking to them right now. We will go this way. And let's see what's in here. Uh, let's see. This guy's selling some cool stuff in here. It looks like it. All right. Um, yeah, all right, let's talk to him. Let's see what he's got. I welcome you, friend, as the farmer welcomes rain. Stay, please, browse a while. Welcome to the item shop. How can I serve you? Oh, is that it? Really? All right, you know what? Screw it. We'll get six. We'll help out this guy. We'll give him some money. We'll put this in the item bag. We'll get up to 36 medicinal, medicinal herb. We really don't need anything else because we've been really good at saving our items and not needing to use them, so... Okay, um, I guess we'll talk to this guy. Welcome to our home. You have timed your visit well as bears time their rest. The dragon is gone. Sun rises on peaceful dawn for all to enjoy. Okay, um, this looks like a way up to the rest of the city, not the sauna. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, never mind. There's another staircase I didn't go up. How dare you! Ooh. Ooh. No way to treat a lady. Didn't your mother teach you any manners? Your words grate my ears. A good child should be silent and stay out of bars. I told you I need to speak to the owner. It's important. He might know where my little sister is. A child in a bar is like a fish in a tree. You must search elsewhere. Ugh. Fine. If you're going to be a complete pighead about it, I'll go and ask the guards by the gate instead. <gasps> hmm? Ooh. What do we have here? Well, are you going to tell me your name or not? Oh, that's interesting. So we have an option. I don't know if we've had that so far. I could be wrong, but yeah, maybe I'm forgetting something. Yeah, we're going to tell you our name. Sure. Hmm. Could be worse, I suppose. 
Listen, you and I need to talk, but my little sister is missing, so I have to go and find her first. I never thought I'd finally meet you in a place like this. It's funny how things work out. Okay, and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea how she knows who we are, but ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you, as always, for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, continue to spread those positive vibes. I will catch you all in the next episode, but until next time, I'm out. Peace.